Hello friends, welcome back to my YouTube channel, Lock Your Learning. In this video, we are going to solve ICSE Mathematics Class 7 Chapter 19 Speed, Time and Distance Exercise 19A, Question Number 9. Fine. So, it is, lamp posts are placed 30 meters apart along a road. How long will a car traveling at 45 kilometers per hour take to pass 6 lamp posts, not counting the first of them? Fine. So, basically, uh, there are lamp posts which are placed on a road, right? They are placed at a distance of 30 meters from each other. So there are six lamp posts which are uh, just, you know, placed fine. So let's say this is the road and on this there is one here, then there is one here, one here, one here, one here, fine. Five and then the sixth one, one here, right? Six lamp posts like this are placed. Now it is saying that they are placed uh, apart from them each right at 30 meters, right? So the distance between uh, two lamp posts is of 30 meters. Fine. Then it says if a car is coming on this road, okay, if it is going by this road, so you can see uh, if and the speed of the car is 45 kilometers per hour, right? So it is uh, passing the road at a speed of 45 kilometers per hour crossing the road. Then it says. Uh, how much time will it take for the car to cross the complete road, right? That is from one end to the other end and the speed is 45 kilometers per hour. One condition that is here is that the first lamp is not counted. Okay, so uh, let's say the car starts from here, right? From here the car starts. So this lamp, this will not be counted as a, a lamp. So what we will do is first of all, we will find the distance from the poles. Right, it is going from here to here, okay, and the, only these five poles will be counted. The sixth pole will not, uh, basically the first pole will not be counted, the other five will be counted. So, that means we will calculate the distance from this pole to this pole, uh, post, right, not pole, post. Fine, so from this lamp post to this lamp post, because this one will not be counted, okay, so it's going from here, so first of all, calculate the distance, fine. So, uh, we know that each lamp post is placed 30 meters apart from each other. That means if we are calculating the distance between 5 lamp posts, we will multiply 30 by 5. So, the distance becomes 30 into 5, right? And that is what? Um, 150 meters, fine. This becomes our distance. So, th uh, that means how much time will the car take to pass a distance of 150 to cross the uh, road of 150 meters? Okay, and now we know the speed of the car, fine, speed of car, that is what, 45 kilometers per hour. Again, distance is in meter, time, uh, the speed is in kilometer per hour, that can't be possible. We must convert one thing or the other into the same unit. So, we'll convert the speed into meter per second, right? So, 45 kilometer per hour becomes 45 into 5 by 18, all right. Um, what will this give us? This won't cancel first of all. all uh, let's cancel this. It will cancel. Fine. So, this becomes 6. This becomes 1, 15. Alright. Again, cancel this. Cancel this. So, 2 and 5. Alright. This is what it will be. So, 5 into 5. 25 upon 2 meter per second. Right. This becomes the speed of the car in meter per second. Alright. Or you, if you wish, you can convert it into mixed fraction, but it's of no use now. Now, you see that we have to calculate the time. So, time equals to, uh, time equals to distance upon the speed. Alright. So, distance upon speed. Uh, you must know the formula. Okay. Then only we can solve these questions because this is the most important thing. Then we will put the values here. So, that will give us what? Distance is 150 meters divided by the speed is 25 by 2 meter per second. Alright. So, 25 upon 2. Fine. That is what it will be. So, now solve this. So, it will become 150. Um, you can see this fraction is here. Improper fraction. So, division changes to multiplication. And second step is what? We reciprocate the fraction. So, 25 by 2. This will be reciprocated. So, 2 upon 25. Right. Now, solve this. So, this becomes 5. This one 30. And again, 1 and 6. So, at last we get 12 seconds all right and this equals to the time that the car will take to pass the entire to cross the entire road okay that is having a uh, that is 150 meters long fine and friends this is all for today if you are new to my youtube channel do not forget to subscribe and leave a like on this one 
Till then, take good care of yourselves and bye-bye.